Buying a major home appliance is an important decision and a big purchase. It's important to know before you go. Make sure you visit www.bigboxappliancereviews.com. It's Factory and Mattress Kingdom, five-star rated, over 5,000 reviews. Guaranteed we beat Home Depot and Lowe's. The nation's largest discount appliance dealer, over 24 stores in three states. Visit us at appliancefactory.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be going over a buying guide for over the range microwaves. So a couple things to, to keep your mind on when you're looking at new microwaves. First thing is trying to match the brand. It's one of the biggest things a lot of people do. A lot of them have distinctive handles and or color. So brand, depending on if you want it to match or something you wanna pay attention for. Um, sizing, most of your over the range microwaves basically fit into a 30 inch slot. So when you're looking at dimensions, don't get too carried away because most of your microwaves are gonna be uh, 30 inches wide and they range from like 1.6 cubic feet to 2.1 cubic feet. So they all fit into that size. What changes, the width is typically the same. Your depth could change a little bit, but your height is where you really get the difference from like a 1.8 to like a uh, 2.0 cubic feet. One that this is a little taller, you might be able to notice here, but this is 1.9, it's just a tad bit taller than the microwave next to it. So the width doesn't change at all, just your height. So if you have a special trim on the body, you may wanna take a look out for that. Next thing to look for is the wattage. Um, depending on how often you use the microwave, wattage is a very important depending on what you're cooking. Uh, higher watts is gonna cook faster. So just kind of getting used to that cycle is something you wanna watch out for. Another feature a lot of people like, I'm a big fan of this, is the sensor cook. Uh, most microwaves now, at least your mid quality ones, have a sensor cook feature. And what that does is it, it detects the moisture whatever the food is producing, basically. So a lot of them you have typical standards, reheat popcorn or, or cook like a reheat a dinner plate. So those will actually detect the moisture, what's leaving. Uh, and really it's a good way to not overcook your food, depending on what type or how fancy the sensor is. Um, it's a really cool feature to have. So definitely recommend that. Um, next thing to look at is if you want convection or not. Most of your microwaves are not convection. And I'll explain a little bit on what convection is. This LG actually down here is convection. So what it actually is, is you can actually bake in this oven. So it actually has a heating element with this fan in the back that will, it's kind of like a blow dryer. You can actually bake items into this. So when you have this, the oven going, you could actually have a mini oven up top here with cookies, a lot of different things that you could cook in convection microwaves. Pretty cool feature. Um, last thing I recommend is kind of just the design, and if, depending on what style you like. Most of your standard microwaves just have your control panel on the side like this. When you step up, some of them get a little fancier with the control panel across the bottom, but now with no handle, you don't want it to match anything else, or if you're getting an off-brand, kind of a, a nice microwave that you could do there. Um, but thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you next week. Online or locally, save at appliancefactory.com. Click the link to learn more.